Now our next objective is passing the values between the pages. Hmm. Can you guess how we can do so? Let me tell you that you can do it by building a constructor. What is a constructor? A constructor is a small build function in our class that will take a getter as well as a setter. So instead of theory, let's build it first. So I will just make another class for passing the values. So STL alpha class. Hmm. It will take a scaffold. Press control and S. Now copy this class, paste it here. Press control and S. Instead of hot reload, you have to hot restart it. Now you see another page. So suppose you have a text here in the container. Suppose the container have a child of column. Say text and text from alpha class. Let's give it the title of text. Say alpha class, not class, but a page. Press Ctrl and S. Hmm. Now let's make it in a center, and it will be in the center. Now, to pass this value, that is this text, to another page, we have to simply add a constructor to the page for where we are exporting this data, that is in this page, that is another page. So, you can just add here final in a capital text. Now, it will show you some error because we have not constructed our constructor. So, to do so, just write the name of the class at this bracket curly bracket and this dot text and add a semicolon hmm. it throws an error that optional parameters can't start with an underscore so let's remove the underscore hmm. now this is perfect you can also add a key to this let's say key and key okay now in this another page this constructor is be initialized so to pass this value from there Navigating from this page to that page, you can just add the index value to it. That is navigator dot push replacement from our page transition. Let's say I have a child of another page. Now, if you hover it, you can see that it takes two parameters. That is key and the string. But now the key key parameter is optional, but you have to pass in the text parameter. So to pass it here, you have to initialize some variable for the text. Let's say string text from alpha is equal to text from alpha class. Hmm. I'll copy it here and let's say this text will have this string. Okay. Now here this parameter text will have text from alpha and also a type that is page transition down to up give it a semicolon and a comma here press control and s now it will transport this text from alpha page to beta page but here we do not have anything that will hold it so in this container Let's add a column as a child having a children of text and this text will be widget dot text. Now by using this widget you can access all the uh, all the parameters that are initialized between the constructor of this page. Just add it, just make it in a center and give it some padding from the top only from the top and of 200 hmm. now here's nothing that is there is no text now let's do it by just pressing this button now you may see that the data is transferred from this page that is from alpha page to beta page pass some parameters from beta page to alpha page i know these names are quite confusing but trust me these are just some demo names when we will be working on our real projects 
the things are going to be different let's say it will have a final string of say text from beta page is equal to say text from beta page also let's add a constructor for this page say text initialize it here in the constructor by just typing alpha class give it this dot text from alpha give it a semicolon don't forget to add the key to it cool let's add another text here let's get out of this padding and add some text that is widget dot text alpha Let's control and S. Now let's initialize some random text here by just typing some string that is string text from beta is equal to how are you? Add a semicolon here. Okay, now to add to transport this value from this page to another page. Similarly, take this name, add here. Now it will take a string that is text alpha. So just make it somewhat down so you can clear, be clear with it. Text alpha, which takes text from beta. Press Ctrl and S. Refactor documents. Now let's pass the value from beta page to alpha page by just clicking this button and you may see that the value has appeared here that is we have passed the string of how are you from beta page to alpha page. Now passing the value is very simple to the page to the page where you are receiving the data add a constructor and the page from where you are passing the data add the data to the navigator 